first. Uh, talking of looks, comedian David Mitchell has told the Observer newspaper this weekend that whilst he's felt better about himself since losing weight recently, he's not going to take looking good to extremes. He said, I think a cosmetic surgery is stupid. It's a trend entirely based on vanity, and vanity is not an admirable trait at all. Now, according to the dictionary, vanity means excessive pride in one's appearance or accomplishments. So is that really such a negative trait? Well, that's me knackered then, isn't it? Really? <laughs> I like to take pride in my appearance and I, I don't like to put my makeup on before I'm, you know, greet the milkman, so to speak. <laughs> and uh, if that's being vain, then I'm vain. I don't, I, if that song is about me, <laughs> you know, uh, it, I, I think there's a difference between being conceited mm. and, and then just having pride in your appearance. Mm. And, 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 and also, I haven't got kids, mm. so I've got time to do that. I think a little's good because I think it, you know, it's good for self esteem, but I think. I mean, some people don't leave the house because they haven't got their makeup on. Mm. And what's the problem with that, Lisa? <laughs> you could ruin your life. You could sit there thinking someone's at the door, but I've not got my slap on, so I'm not letting them in. <laughs> Just five minutes, love. That's all it takes, love, oh. to make yourself, you know, approachable. Do you well, know, it depends I... what your starting materials are. Five yeah. minutes ain't enough sometimes, trust me. Well, you, I don't think you are vain. I think... You know, <laughs> no, I don't. I think you all... She always looks immaculate, doesn't you? You always, always look really well oh, turned so out. So polished. Yeah. And yeah. I think your people that come to see you perform expect that of you. So yeah. it's part of your job as well. Yeah, but no, I am vain, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> no, vanity, let's, let's, let's clear the definitions up, because there's self-respect, as you've said, and that vanity is somebody who believes that they look really good and really gets off at, at kind of on that. Mm. That's not you. You don't walk around oh, thinking I don't, you're the Oh, I don't. No, when I put myself on, I look at them in the mirror, I think I'm not that bad this morning. No. You know? <laughs> but as, as I said, I think there is a difference. Uh, there's, there is a, a conceit and then there's, mm. there's vanity. Mm. And, and but surely there comes a point where you can't control other people's perception of you. You can't constantly... If, if you are trying to present a kind of facade the whole time, mm -hmm. Eventually, you can't do it. I mean, I've, we've all done that thing of getting up early, you know, before the bloke, so you get your face on before he wakes up, oh, yeah. so, that it, so you look like you did the night before. Uh, but I, I mean, I've, uh, but you can't do it any longer because you get to a point where actually they do, they people do see you for who you really are, and you have to kind of let that. And yeah, you have to face who you are. Do you know what? Yes, yes. So yeah. trying to be trying to keep up that level of appearance the whole time. It's not honest either, is it, at no, the end it's of the not, day? You know, I went out, um, last year, I went out with a girlfriend and it, to, a, to, to celebrate her birthday, and she had lots of friends there that I didn't really know that well, never spent a lot of time in their company. Um, they all looked fabulous, you know, all very groomed and polished. And, um, and they spent the entire night, rather than enjoying each other's company and chatting and laughing, just taking photos. And at one point, we were at the bar, and they went, right, ready for a shot? And I thought... Go on then. They <laughs> <laughs> got their cameras out and they were going, but really fake like. <laughs> we're having such a great time. I just thought, oh, this is so ugly. I had to I leave them. I wanted to punch them. You did that very well then, Kate. Thought. You did all them oh, posing very well. You know well. when you. Yeah, it incensed me though, Jay. It's, it's like it. people that have beautiful shots of themselves all over their homes. I know, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. professional yeah, yeah. photos. What we're talking about here though is an excess of vanity, isn't it? Because I think yeah. that, that definition is right. It's a, mm. it's a question of degree. If you are like that, totally excessive with it and all you think about i mean is your looks and what you're doing you, you know, we've all got friends haven't we who mm. they can't go past the window without having a quick check you know men and women actually because mm. men are as bad as women i think with that yeah. but if it's completely taking over your life so you know all you're thinking about is how you look i think you're in a lot of trouble and it can actually be completely unconscious in fact i do think extreme vanity it, it becomes just what your life is. Well, and it's, and it's, not, it's, it's really totally unconscious ugly. and it's really you ugly. See, naked ambition yeah. and vanity, I think, are two of the most together. ugliest traits. Mm. That I bet that one of you three walks past a mirror and doesn't check yourself out. I oh, oh, no, do If I'm on the job, as it were, if it's, it's <laughs> <laughs> if it's professional, if I'm going <laughs> to... I wish I hadn't started this. No, let's leave that there, ladies. I think we can hide that one. <laughs> OK, fancy seeing if you could be lucky at winning...